Hey guys, welcome back. Today is the first lesson. Uh, we're going to be solving equations. We're going to solve by factoring and then we're going to look at equations that have no solutions. Let's get started. Alright, here we have a very basic equation. Here we have 3x minus 7 equal to 5. Well, what we want to know is find out what x is. So, we need to get rid of the 3 and we need to get rid of that minus 7. Now, here our first step is going to be to get rid of anything that's adding or subtracting first. So in this case, we have a minus 7. So let's get rid of that. That means that we need to send whatever's here on the left side over to the right side. Remember, when I say left or right side, I'm talking about the equal sign. Remember, the equal sign splits in between the left and the right side. So to get rid of a minus 7, I'll go ahead and add 7. Now remember, you have an equation. That means you need to keep things balanced. So add 7 on the left side. That means I add 7 on the right side. Okay. Notice that I didn't touch that 3x. Since I didn't touch it at all, I'm going to go ahead and bring it down. So I have 3x. Now here this says negative 7 plus 7, which is 0. So technically it looks like this. plus zero. But we know that adding zero to anything stays the same, even if it's just a, a variable. So adding zero, we don't need to show it. We need to get it out of there. So we just have three x. My equal sign is still here. So three x is equal to five plus seven. I can simplify that. 5 plus 7 is 12. So this is what I have now. 3x is equal to 12. That 3 is still bothering that x, so I need to get rid of it. This says 3 times x. Whenever you have a number next to a letter, it means that they're multiplying. Since I need to move this 3 to the other side, I'll do the opposite. Divide by 3. Remember, keep things balanced. Let me go to the other side. Divide by 3. 3 divided by 3, technically it's 1. So technically this is a 1x. Here's my equal sign. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Now, like I said, technically it's a 1. So it's 1x equals to 4. But anything times 1 stays the same. So I don't need to show this, and you need to get in the habit of not showing it. So x is equal to 4 is my final answer. All right, go ahead and pause the video and try these numbers out. The answers are coming up in 3, 2, 1. All right, here are your answers. I hope you got them right. Here's a little challenge question. See if you can do it before I do it. I'm going to start doing it in 3, 2, 1. 1. Notice that I have the variables on the left and the right side. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to choose whether I e either move the 4n to the left side or the 2n to the right side. Whatever way you choose, it doesn't matter. You're going to get the same answer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move the 2n to the right side. Why? Just so I can keep my variable positive. So, minus 2n minus 2n. Anything I didn't touch, I'm going to bring down. So 3. This is gone now. There's my equal sign. 4n minus 2n. Now notice that I can only subtract 2n from another n. Here I'm collecting like terms. So think about it like this. I have four things and I'm taking two things away. Well, now I have 2n. 2n and I didn't touch this, I couldn't touch it, so I just bring it down, plus 7. So this is kind of like one of the ones we had before, but our variable's on the right side. It doesn't matter. So what I'll do now, I'll either get rid of the 2 or the 7. What I want to do is get rid of that 7. So plus 7, that's going to be a minus 7 on the right side. So keep your equation balanced. In my equal sign, I didn't touch 2n, 
So I bring it down. Okay, so I do 3 minus 7. So that's negative 4. So I'm saying that negative 4 is equal to 2n. Well, I don't want 2n, I just want n. So get rid of that 2. Divide by 2. Divide by 2. Your final answer is n equal to negative 2. All right. Here we're looking at an equation where we need to factor. Okay, this is what I noticed. I noticed that this has an x. Okay, it's an x squared. And this has an x also. Okay, and they have it equal to 0. What I'm going to do here is that I'm going to take these x's out. Now think about it. This one had two x's. I can only take one x out. So instead of having two x's, I just have one x left over. Plus two. This one doesn't have an x anymore. I took it out. Okay. It's the opposite of distributing. I'm undistributing the x's that were given out. And notice how this is the same thing, because look what would happen if I distributed this. x times x, x squared, plus x times 2 is 2x. So right now it's equivalent. Now let's look at what we have. Here I'm saying that either this term is equal to 0, or this term is equal to 0. Now why? The thing is that when you multiply by 0, you get 0. So here we actually have two possibilities. Either this is 0, and it makes our whole equation equal to 0, which is what we want. Or this could be 0, which would make everything 0, and that's also what we want. Okay, Let's solve this, and uh, I'll explain again why you're splitting it into two. So our first possibility is this term. x is equal to 0. Do we have to do anything, any, any more work? No, we're done with this one. Or x plus 2 is equal to 0. Well, here we do have to do work. So we want to solve for this x. So subtract 2, minus 2, minus 2. I didn't touch the x, I'll bring it down. x is equal to negative 2. So we can, this one has two answers, either x is 0 or x is negative 2. All right? Now let me show you why we split into 2. All right. In the first scenario, x was 0. What happens if we substitute a 0 in here? This would be 0 squared plus 2 times 0 equal to 0. 0 squared is 0 plus 2 times 0. 0, 0 is equal to 0, which is true, so that's an answer. Let's look at what happens to this one. Okay, here I'm saying that x is negative 2. So, negative 2 squared plus 2 times negative 2 is equal to 0. Negative 2 squared is 4 plus 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 equal to 0. 4 plus negative 4, well, that's 0 equal to 0, which is also true. So, this is our second answer. All right, you might get problems that look like this. x squared equals to 4x. Okay? Just like before, I noticed that all my terms have an x. So I know I'm going to factor things out. Okay? I'm going to take back that distribution. But you have a step to do first. You need to move that 4x to the other side. So minus 4x minus 4x. I can't combine them. They're not like terms. This has an x squared, and this just has an x. So since this is not squared, I can't combine them. What I'll do is I'll just write them next to each other. So x squared minus 4x equals, there's nothing here now, this is 0. So notice how now it's like the one we did earlier. It just had an extra step. So I'm going to take out an x. So x, remember there's not 20 more there, now it's just x minus 4, close my parentheses, there. So remember, you have two possibilities. Either this term is 0 or this term is 0. Just split them up. Either x is equal to 0, so that's right here, or 
x minus 4 is equal to 0. This one you have to work for. So, plus 4, plus 4. x is equal to 4. There, so those are my two answers. 0, 4. Oh, don't forget, depending on, depending on your teacher, they might want you to write it as a solution set. So, instead of just leaving my answers like this, I can write them in the set 0, 4. Okay, so that would be my solution set for this problem. Choose writing your answers in the set notation.